and welcome to Snog Marry Avoid Part 2 as requested. I'm Jessica. And I'm her wife Claudia. That was beautifully done. Thank you very much. Claudia would also like you all to comment on the new shirt that she's wearing. Looking particularly fetching. She changed into it specifically so we could match. Uh, yeah. Because we're matchy lesbians now. I mean they match in the sense that, well they're green and blue. Actually, this is just green. This is just a different oh, shade of green. Oh, it looks very green. blue on camera, It does, it? doesn't it? You're welcome. It's not what this video is about. Instead, we're going to play Snog, Marry, Avoid with some very, very attractive celebrities and YouTubers who were suggested by followers of our Instagram account, Jessie and Claude. There's a link in the description. I would just like to point out in advance that I'm really bad with any kind of like, what's it called, like, modern pop culture. Oh yes, yes. Like, I don't know who anyone is. Interestingly, I look like I come from the 1950s, but Claudia's knowledge pretty much stopped then. No, I don't have any pre-1950s knowledge. I basically don't have people knowledge. If you ask me something about a tree, or like some okay, animals. Okay, you know what? We will do a follow up to this video with Snog Marry Avoid Trees. What you do is you take three names out, you choose amongst those who you're going to snog, who you're going to divorce me for, and then marry, and uh, and then who you're going to cancel. Publicly shame them. So it's not just avoid anymore, it's like literally like tell everyone else to avoid them. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> we made it Gosh. modern. <laughs> Maybe don't do that, it's a bit too much. Wait, is that worse though? I yeah, because you can avoid them bad. for your own personal reasons, but why mm. should you like be, basically tell everyone else to avoid them? Okay, I mean, unless sorry, we've cancelled that. Cancel culture has been cancelled for this video only. Choose three. Laverne Cox. Ooh. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a Radio 1 DJ. I'm pretty sure they mean Laverne Cox as in the actress from Orange is the New Black. Sophie Turner. You equally don't know who Sophie Turner is. Pepper Potts. Do you know who Pepper Potts is? Is she the one from Iron Man? Yes! Oh, okay. Yes, she is! <laughs> I'd say marry Pepper Potts. Okay. She's ginger. I'd say... Sophie Turner is also ginger, if that helps. Oh, okay, well snog her then. She's got a type. probably avoid Laverne Cox. Because you don't know who she is. Yeah. I see, I see. Maybe I wish you'd get out a laptop and I can see their faces. Okay, moving forwards, Claudia will now be shown pictures of the people she's rejecting. Okay, I've got three, I've got three. Mae Whitman, she plays the younger sister in Good Girls in Netflix. Okay. Uh, Mystique, X-Man character. Played by Jennifer Lawrence in the newest films. Yes. Oh, but Rebecca Romnan in the older films. She has lesbian tendencies. So it has to be actually Mystique, not Jennifer Lawrence. Oh yeah. I guess it has to be actually Mystique. Yeah. So okay. I read the void. Or Marlena Dietrich. A mixture there. And all beginning with M. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be. Fine, let me guess for you. I would say Snog Mae Whitman. Okay. I don't think you'd think she was reliable wife material. Based on her character, not her. Oh yeah, I don't as know. As a mum character, yeah, we know I mean, nothing about her as an actress. Oh yeah, I'm literally just going on. <laughs> you just said she was the youngest yeah, sister yeah, from Good Girls. Yeah, yeah, she's the youngest sister from Good Girls. Yeah. You'd avoid Mystique. She's just creepy. It's fine. And and she's not very loyal because she changes sides all the time. She'll be like, I'm evil. I'm not. I'm evil. I'm torn. I have a lot of issues. I mean, that depends on what comic book continuity timeline you're going on, but. And marry Th Marlena. Fickle. I think you'd marry. Yeah, I think as the person, I find her the most sexually appealing of the three, and I will therefore marry her. I also, I find her incredibly scary though. Like, if Mystique wasn't in this handful yeah. right here, Marlena would be avoided. So much sexual energy. It's just a bit much. Also, like, when you snog Mystique, yeah. is she, does she look as she is? Or is she like taken on like... I think the... the idea is that you love Mystique the person, so you would happily snog her no matter what she looks like. She has a form. Yeah, her blue form. Her blue form, yeah. Her true form. Am I like Aquafina? <laughs> Who's that? Aquafina. There's another like fictional character. I knew you were gonna struggle saying her name. No, she's not a fictional character. I said Aquafina. I said it right. Well done. She's in uh, Ocean's 8 and I think she's also in Crazy Rich Asians, isn't she? Yes, she must How be. How do people know all this stuff? Sandra O, oh, I know who that is. And Tessa Thompson as Tessa Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two of these for me would be quite difficult. But I'm not choosing, I just remembered. You're, I'm not choosing, you are. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea who Aquafina is, so I'm guessing you're gonna avoid her? I mean, they're all good, they're all good uh, candidates, I'd say. <laughs> I'd avoid Aquafina. Okay. <laughs> On the basis that, you know, you have to constantly be like, explaining her name to everybody. Um, this is my wife, Aquafina. <laughs> no, that's not her name. <laughs> 
snog Sandra O. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And marry Tessa Thompson. <gasps> That's not the way I saw that going. Really? Why not? I mean, it's Sandra O. But why? Why? Sandra O's quite a bit older. Oh. <laughs> I find her like funny and like she can be attractive, but she's not really my type. Okay. Um, yeah. I think she's more of, I would like more friend her. Yeah, I mean, Tessa Thompson is everyone's type. Yeah, and Tessa Thompson so. was like just so naturally attractive and she's like, can be, she just seems very refined. Interesting. And I like a refined, refined. woman. Refined. Thanks. I'll take it. Michelle Yeoh. Who should have won an Oscar or something by now. Yes, yes, all right. Dodie. Random. The YouTuber. Oh, yeah. I don't know that there's another Dodie. <laughs> Singer. Oh, like um, no. Na, 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 What's her name? Her name is Dodie. <laughs> no, it's not, is it? <laughs> Dido. Dido. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your pop culture is so bad that you can't remember the name of a girl you met. No, I know who Dodie is. I just also We've, thought like I hung out with her. <laughs> I think it's because from Michelle Yeoh to suddenly Dodie was quite a bit of a jump. <laughs> she can't do time periods. And Tessa Thompson in Men in Black. Wow, specific. The marry is a very, it's an easy choice. Who? It's an easy choice. It has to be Tessa Thompson in Men in oh, Black. Oh, see? All the way. Mine probably wouldn't. I know I married her before with Tessa yeah. Thompson as <laughs> Tessa Thompson, but I wouldn't marry her as Tessa Thompson in Men in Black. Why? Because she's like always out on missions and like, oh, this she's is not true. like effeminate enough for me, like as a wife. I know that's huh. bad, but I prefer that. And like, <laughs> she's like, I, I would want, you know. She I, looks really good in a suit. Yeah, but I don't really go for girls in suits. Shades maybe. of lesbian. I'd marry Michelle Yeoh because she like it's Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. I'd marry Michelle Yeoh. I know she's okay. older, but like I'm really sorry, Sandra. Oh, that's no. my excuse for You're her. Like, no, Sandra. <laughs> but Michelle Yeoh, you please come, come right through, come right through. Marry Tessa Thompson in Men in Black. I think we'll have some great adventures together. I love it. I want to try it. I think she'll probably be able to find some kind of alien cure for me. She might wipe your mind. But it would have been a great time before the mind wipe. You'd be like, I have such also, short term memories. <laughs> do you she'd, need to? She'd be like, yeah, that might be to do with me. <laughs> Whenever my jokes flop, I just like. Maybe I am married to her. Maybe you are. I just don't know. What, you mean I'm her or what? Like, you keep forgetting you're married to her? What? No, I mean, she. Keep, that's why I have memory loss. Anyway, I married her. We go out on missions together. Okay, it's okay, fun. Okay. I'm one of men in black We've been on now. these three girls okay. for too long. <laughs> Snog Michelle Yeo. Okay, I'll snog Michelle Yeo. That's fine. I'll snog Michelle Yeo. All right, all right. Lupita Nongo. Nongo. Can I say that? Oh, I know who that is. Lupita I can't Nongo. pronounce it though, so. Oh, yes. See, so you'll know her when you see her. There you go. We'll just Lupita. Shaba. Oh, Shaba! Oh, I think someone said that because Shaba tweeted that she'd never met an unattractive redhead. Oh. I like all right, better, we, better watch you, Shaba. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she's coming over on Tuesday. And Black Widow. Well, I think of Black Widow, I can only really see... Um, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson. Mm -hmm. I think I'd marry Shaba. Like, I find I get on with her. Mm -hmm. Like, it's fun times. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I think it's chill, down to earth. She could... I could also happily marry Shaba. Snog Black Widow. Ooh. Because she's quite mysterious, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't want to have a deeper relationship than that because mm. I think it just would be messy. Ah, oh, and Lupita just gets avoided. Just because the other two kind of took precedence. Ah, oh. also you didn't know who she was. Yeah, <laughs> she's very hot as well, but you know, it's not good too. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, yeah. I said I'd marry Sharba, but she'll be like, probably want you. <laughs> We'll have to ask her on Tuesday. <laughs> Is this a trivia question? I can't do trivia. So <laughs> if you had to marry one of us, which would you marry? I don't think I can answer that. You have to choose one. But you're both brilliant in different ways. I will just say for the purposes of this, I'm more similar to you, so it would probably be Claudia. I feel bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Shaba. Really educational. How we know.
My choices are Max from Dark Angel. I like this one put in brackets, Jessica Alba. See, that's really helpful because I know who Jessica Alba is. Have you watched Dark Angel? No. This is a YouTuber and I'm really sorry and I'm gonna blame it on deafness, but I don't know how to pronounce her name. Elena Joy. I don't know if it's Elena or Alana. But there's a Y in her name. I've watched many of her videos. I just don't know how to pronounce her name. Elena? Elena. I'd say so. Elena. Brie Larson. Um, I'm gonna marry Elena Joy. I should probably learn how to say her name <laughs> properly. Um, you could just give her before the marriage ceremony because it could be very awkward. You could just call her darling. <laughs> um, I don't think you're allowed to marry someone just saying, I take this. My darling. My darling. It's all right, you're just having a reaction to my <laughs> new marriage. I am. I'm pretending I'm totally indifferent. <laughs> Actually, I'm fighting back the but tears. But really, you're like, I'm gonna hunt her down. No, 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 no I'm just yawning. That's She's what... in the UK right now, actually. Um, I am going to, I mean, Jessica Alba's really attractive. I should probably kiss her. Okay. But then I'd be avoiding Brie Larson, and that's just very difficult for me. Mm. No, I'm gonna have to kiss Jessica Alba. Okay. I have to do it. I have to. What a sacrifice from my part. Alright, let's hope I know these people. <laughs> oh look, Jennifer Lawrence, I know who that is. Well done. Helena Bonham Carter, I know who that is. <laughs> Lucy Liu, oh my god. I got, I got three very A-list. <laughs> three people we don't need to Google. Yay! Do I I do wonder what I do with my time. Like today, this morning, I found myself just sitting in the loft. <laughs> stroking Tilly and Walter and I was like how long have I been sat here thinking about absolutely nothing and I was like it's like 10 30 a.m what have I done I got up at, <laughs> I got up at eight I'd done nothing with my life for two and a half hours <laughs> that's not true I'm sure I mean I have memory loss so I don't know what you did for those two and a half hours <laughs> well I don't know what I did either sometimes I just find myself like how did I get here I did have speech therapy when I was younger I find it quite hard to like retain words that are new and names are often new words. That's my defense. Why are you doing that face <laughs> for? Because I understand you find it difficult to retain things that have been said. Yeah. But I just showed you her name written down on my phone. No, but it's still the same. Cause I, like I read, when I read Harry Potter, mm -hmm. I read her name as Hermione one <laughs> because like I'd never heard the name Hermione. I'd never seen it. So I read it as Hermy one. Well, I did loads of Probably other people read it as Hermy yeah. one as well then? <laughs> I don't know. How would people, how, how do you know? Please let us know if you also. How do you know to pronounce a name when you've never seen or heard that name? This is exactly my issue. Right, Jennifer anyway. Lawrence, <laughs> Helena Bonham Carter, Lucy Liu. Marry Lucy Liu. Excellent choice. Snog Jennifer Lawrence. The right choice. My choices are, good one this came up for me. Right, literally anyone from Dollhouse, Zoe Kravitz, ContraPoints. It's my new favorite YouTube channel. Oh. Um, I mean, I've now watched a lot of hours of Natalie's face <laughs> on ContraPoints. So, um, I guess we could get married. Oh, I mean, I don't think I'm clever enough for her. Of course you are. I mean, I don't know who she is, but. <laughs> You're clever enough for anybody. Oh, thank you, darling. Too I really for, appreciate too your for boosting me. my self-esteem. Just because I don't know who people are doesn't mean I'm it says nothing about your intelligence. Exactly. Okay, um, and I'm just gonna avoid Zoe Kravitz because I don't know her, you know? I don't know her. Also because this you one was literally else. anyone from Dollhouse. And so clearly I would just have to kiss Echo. It would be great. But also because she has memory problems, um, understandably, and I have memory problems, we couldn't get married. Rogue from X-Men. Ooh! Wonder Woman. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be someone very average now, isn't there? <laughs> Tessa Thompson, what the hell? <laughs> As the best king of Asgard. <laughs> okay, wait, Valkyrie versus Wonder Woman versus Rogue. Why did you get this hand? Right. I mean, come on, there's a clear, clear choice. Which one's for Rogue? Is Rogue her. like you can't touch her? Yeah, she's on the absorbs. Oh, yeah. A shame, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. I mean, devilishly attractive. My first ever crush. <laughs> Okay. Not the human rogue from that whole series, that's just not good. But the What happens if you do accent. touch rogue? Um, well, you don't have any powers, so she'd kill you. Oh. I mean, you know, it takes time. Well, okay, so I guess best avoided. She absorbs your life force. Oh, sorry, rogue. But she's actually a nice person. She's a delight. But I don't, but in marriage, I need, like one of my like love, love languages, languages is physical touch. Mm, it is. So sorry. It is, she needs I would life. kiss Wonder Woman. But I'd marry Tessa Thompson. Wonder Woman is controversial. Not the most interesting human being, so. No. But you know. She's not a human being. At least I could What's still kiss her. She's still quite hot. Yeah. 
We'll give her that. Wonder Woman, you can say I kissed Wonder Woman. And then my wife, every time she upset me, about like, look, me and Wonder Woman made out one time. You and Valkyrie would never have an argument. She is. I love how it's like the best king of Asgard as opposed to just Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah. She's been promoted. I think this was so that I would know the reference. In case okay, so. I... She is the best king of Asgard. Oh my god. We don't know yet. She's only just been appointed. <laughs> She'd be amazing. Wait, didn't you just choose? You are really going in on this game. It's fun, game to be over. Oh my god. <laughs> Got better things to do. Sit oh. in the loft and not think about something for two and a half hours. Maybe I'm pondering sure. on very deep things. And they're just so deep I can't recall what they were. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you were playing along, which of our takes did you agree with? Which did you disagree with? Who would you also marry? Who would you kick to the curb? Were you also Googling every single name? <laughs> do you also have name blindness? Nomnesia. Nomnesia. I've decided that's what it is called, an omnesia. Do you also have nomnesia? Do you also sometimes realise you've been stood in the same place for two and a half hours and have no idea what's happened? Because same. It results in a wonderful life. Oh yeah, we're very happy. <laughs> we're like, it's been four years of marriage. Wow. It feels like yesterday. It does feel like yesterday. Oh, Probably because we've both been sat in our bedroom just like. <laughs> That's what we've been doing for four years. <laughs> If you would like to see more from us, we're adorable. You should follow us on our Instagram at Jessie and Claude. Also, I now have TikTok. Bubby. What? Oh, sorry, I was touching the baby hairs. So we'll see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.